Junior, junior guard, Syasin Davis, junior forward, Benaja Laney, and sophomore, Kalia Copper, and we'll go ahead and open it to questions. Coach, that kind of offensive performance, 90 points, 40 point win, I don't have a box score, but a lot of assists, uh, kind of everything coming together there today? Yeah, it, it was good. It was good to see that. I think, um, I don't know which game, maybe it was, I think it was Temple game. We had a um, 52 point performance in the second half. So, um, it's close. It was close. It was, it was nice to see uh, the way the ball moved and the way the points were scored because it looked like everybody was really sharing the ball. And uh, it makes it fun when that happens. Uh, so I guess since for you guys, you know, obviously one big thing you guys have been trying to crack down on is your turnovers. You only had six today, and you had a few steals. Just for you guys to uh, commit so, uh, so few turnovers and force so many, how big was that for you guys? Um, for us not to score, I mean, well, for us not to um, have so many turnovers actually was like a big stress that we always do, like every game. Like we don't want to get more turnovers than we have assists. I mean, you always try to keep them lower than 10, even low as possible, basically. So that was a big stress for us today, and always. So do you guys kind of feel like at this point you're just starting to peak it's just in terms of offensive sync and flow and the communication that that's kind of why, you know, the turnovers are going down a little bit because you guys are communicating more and better and at this point in the year? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we, we always communicate. Sometimes it, it, it lacks, but we try to pick up as much as we like as possible. Coach, 20 wins for the 14th time, 19 years here, and after last year, obviously only 16. Uh, what is 20 wins? I mean, that's big. That's a big plateau in a season for a team. What, what do you think now that you have your 20th win? I, I think that it's just this team um, being consistent with what the vast majority of teams have done over the years. I think that um, it was um, an anomaly the last year or two. It almost looked like a figment of my imagination and not in a good way. So without question, um, that's what the Rutgers University basketball teams expect to do. I think you know that. What, the, what did you help? How tough was, you know, the, you know, like you said, the last couple of years, you know, especially with last year. Touch me not going back to last year or the year before mm -hmm. because I am so happy to move forward. This is a new group, a new attitude, offensively and defensively. I don't want to hear anything about before. I'd just like to kiss it goodbye, all right, mm -hmm. if you don't mind. Please, please, i got a headache thinking about it. Let's go. <laughs> uh, girls. Could each of you comment? I talked to Coach Stringer about this earlier in the week on just how important it is for breast cancer awareness for young women. Could each of you just comment on kind of the significance of wearing the pink jerseys in the crowd and you know what it means to you and things like that? I mean, I think I think it's a it's a really big game. It's really important to not only us but our fans because, as you know. We, we know people, people that are close to us that have breast cancer, and it just brings awareness to them, and also just awareness to young women of all ages being able to be aware of this disease and to know how important it is to be checked for, you know. You don't, it's, it can be devastating. And so just to bring awareness to something like that, I mean, it means a lot. And to be able to represent our coach, as, as we know, it, it, it really means a lot, and for her, it's, it's really important for us. Um, just to, I guess, repeat what Benazza said, it's like, it's, it's really important to us. I mean, I know, actually, I had, like, hands-on experience with um, Shakina's grandmother. She had it. So that's like a grandmother to me as well. So it's like, when you when you step on the court with a pink with a pink jersey on it, like, it's, it's time to, like, to play. It's, it shows heart and shows everything, it shows character. And to play for someone who who's been who's been through that and has overcome it, it it's even better. It shows so much. Um, just like Essie said, uh it's um it's good because I, I had hands on too with my mom and my grandma and um co stringer too, so it's it's just cool to be able to um go out there and play for them. Are you guys thinking about this? Are you thinking about Shakina's grandma? Or are you thinking about your family ties, Clea, when you're out there today? Yeah, of course. This is pink game is big, and um, 
just to be grateful and I'm thankful to have them still here with me and um it's um it's good to play and gather awareness for everybody else. Well, uh, then, could, could you just talk about how, how the team is playing right now, uh, you know, as the season's winding down, uh, you know, just in general? I, I think that we're, we're in a good place. I think that we're in a good place. We, um, in fact, for this game, we had um, the team, uh, you know, Beniza and everybody, the team get together and they broke the scout down. And um, I wouldn't have even think about that if I didn't think that they were capable and did you know? And they knew what it is that we needed to address, and um, and then when that happens, it doesn't become so much. We the coaches are saying you've got to turn on, you know, cut down on the turnovers. You need to block out. You need to do this. You need to do that. But it means that we embrace and take ownership of the things that we need to do, knowing uh, what it takes for us to compete and win at the very highest level. So they as a team uh, met and. Uh, I don't know that I've ever done this, but uh, they practiced. They looked at the highlight tape because after every game, uh, the coach that is the one that presents that tape, in which case it's Coach Newton, she presented, she had the highlight tape. I had uh, our video guy make a copy for each of them. They sat down, looked at it, and um, took the time themselves. And of course, the weather was bad, um, but it may be something that we should do anyway. Um, but they met. They had um, a shoot around. They talked about what it is that they needed to address. So when we came to practice, um, Coach Newton called me just before that, and she says, "Okay, or am I showing the highlight?" And am I explaining? I said, "Well, I talked to Benaja at length last night, and I do think that um, they're very thoroughly there. They they know what's going on. But I tell you what, let's let's go into the film room. Let's ask the questions. Uh, let's find out what they know, and uh, we'll take it from there. And um, I was so so stunned, um, but not completely because I think they, they do pay attention. They knew what it is that they needed to do that we did not show the highlight tape. We just walked out of there and said, okay, they know what they need to do. And we went on the floor. And I think that when your team grows, and that's what you're talking about, Hutch, um, continuing to grow. I mean, just, just to be mature and knowing what it is that we need to do. Um, that's more important than us as coaches telling them. They will police and check themselves. And when you do that, um, then we begin to arrive. So, you know, we're still, at, you know, young people that are still growing, but uh, I think that we're taking much more ownership now. Any other what, what, what does, uh, Kalia, could, could, could you just talk about, uh, you know, I, I know we, we've asked you before, but could you just talk about the offense here? You know, the 90 points were uh, a season high. You know, you just have, you know, so many offensive weapons, you know. Nigel didn't have her usual game, but you know, you guys still scored 90 points. Uh, just could you talk about the offense? Um, the offense was good. We was looking to get a lot of transition, and um, Benaja actually played well. She had seven assists, so um, and 10 points and five rebounds. So I, I like that stat line. And um, we were just looking to share the ball and play the, play the defense that Koshin wanted us to play. So um, I'm just, I'm just happy that we let it flow and we. Spring. So we got to get 90. Any other questions? Okay, thank you, ladies. Thank you.